In this lesson, we're going to have a look at factorizing algebraic expressions by taking out the biggest common factor. There are five ways to factorize. The first one, taking out a common factor. It is important that you know how many terms there are in an expression. And remember, terms are separated by plus and minus signs. Other types of factorization is the difference between two squares, trinomials, grouping if there are more than three terms, normally four or five terms, and the sum and difference of cubes, they are approximately two terms. If you multiply the bracket out, minus 2 with x, you get minus 2x, and minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6. Then you are determining the product. By changing an expression in factor form to an expression that consists out of terms. Factorizing is the inverse process. Then you are changing an algebraic expression with terms to an expression that consists out of factors. In these examples you can see that the expressions on the left hand side is in factor form and the expressions on the right hand side consist out of terms. And when you factorize we're going to give you terms and you need to factorize and change the expressions so that you get one term expressions in factor form. The golden rule for factorization is to count the terms and always look for a common factor no, no matter how many terms there are. And then you need to take out the highest common factor. I'm going to explain it by using this example. Let's look at the factors of each term. 12 is 2, 4, 2 times 2, 4 times 3, times a times a times b, a square b. 18 is 2 times 9, so it's 2 times 3 times 3 times a times b. Now you can see that 2 is a common factor in each term as well as 1, 3, 1, A, and a B. And now you're going to write down the highest common factor, 2 times 3, 6, A, B, in front of brackets. The number of terms in the bracket is always the same as the number of terms of the original expression. And now what you need to do is you need to divide 6ab into the first term, 12a square b, and then the answer is 2a. Or we just say we're taking out 6ab and the factors that are left in the first term is 2a. Then you divide 6ab into minus 18ab and the answer is 3. Or you can see that 3 is the only factor that was not part of the common factor. It is not necessary that you write down all the factors. If you can see the highest common factor, you can go directly to the answer in factor form. Let's see what happens if you take out a negative sign only. I'm going to use this example. In this example, you can, you can use brackets. 3b minus 2a, and then there's a plus in front of the bracket. If you then take out a minus 1, then the signs in the, the, of the terms in the bracket change. The plus 3b changed to minus 3b and the minus 2a changed to plus 2a. We normally don't write the 1, we just write minus bracket minus 3b plus 2a. And it is sometimes nicer if you put the positive sign first and the negative the term with a negative sign second. What happened now is it looks as if you change the terms or swap the terms and the sign change from plus to minus. In this second example there are two minus terms in the bracket. 
and you can take out a minus 1 and then it's plus 5b plus 2a and there's a minus instead of a plus and all the signs are positive. If you take out a minus, all the signs in the bracket change. Sometimes the common factor is a bracket. In this example there are two terms. It's always important to count the number of terms. The first term 7 times x times the bracket and in the second term it's minus 3 times y times the bracket. The inside of the bracket are exactly the same so that's why we know that m minus 3n is the common factor. You put that in front of the bracket and then you take out the bracket and the term in the bracket is then 7x minus 3y. What you actually are doing is you divide the bracket m minus 3n into the first term and into the second term. Some people use the k method to simplify the work. So they replace the bracket with the letter k. k is then equal to the bracket m minus 3n. And you can then replace the bracket with the k. Minus 3y times the bracket times k. And then you can see that k is the common factor in each term. And you say 7x minus 3y. It is important that you replace the k again with the bracket. m minus 3n times 7x minus 3y. In the second example, the terms in the brackets are similar, but the signs are different. And we want to swap the signs of the terms. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out a minus 1 out of one of the brackets. I'm going to choose to take out minus 1 out of the second bracket and then it's minus 5 times minus 1 that changed to plus 5y and then I can change the signs in the brackets plus 3b changed to minus 3b and minus a changed to plus a and I've swapped by changing the sign in front of the bracket, I've swapped the terms in the bracket. And now you see that in this two term expression, a minus 3b is the common factor. And the inside of the brackets are exactly the same now. The second factor is 6x plus 5y.